Hello, and welcome to the Party Center Speaks podcast. This is the podcast for family entertainment center and event venue owners, operators, managers, and staffers looking to grow their business. Want to learn about increasing booking parties, improving facility operations, and more? This podcast is for you. My name is Rebecca Toomey, and I'm the Director of Sales, Marketing, and Customer Success here at Party Center Software. In this episode, we're going to read through one of our eBooks titled, How to Use Facebook to Grow Your FEC Party and Event Revenue. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this audio version. Introduction. Millions of businesses rely on Facebook to connect with their core audience and build relationships with their customers. With over 2.8 billion, that's right, billion, monthly active users, This dynamic social media platform has become a part of our everyday lives, both as users and as business owners. As the platform continues to grow and offer new features or update its algorithms, it's critical for us to spend some time understanding how to best harness the power of this platform to grow our business. After all, unlike any other tool, Facebook has multiple backend features that make it easier for business owners to streamline their activities and connect with more potential customers. That's why in this resource, we'll highlight the different elements of a Facebook business page, explain how to navigate your business suite, and offer some ideas on how you can tap into more lead sources and convert them into customers. Please note, this ebook is part of our social media growth series. To learn more about other social media platforms, be sure to subscribe to our newsletter to be the first to know whenever we release new content. Also be sure to subscribe to our blog and follow us on social media at Party Center Software. And of course, be sure to join the PCS community group on Facebook. We would love to have you a part of that group. Let's grow together. Chapter one, setting up your Facebook business page. If your goal is to make it easier for your target audience to discover and interact with your business online, optimizing your Facebook business page is critical. Setting up your page doesn't have to be difficult. In fact, you probably already have all or most of the copy, pictures, and ideas to get started. The key is to think about what story you want to tell and keep your target customer in mind as you build your page. If you're new to the industry or need help discovering who your target audience is, refer to our annual online booking study. If you already use a party booking software, be sure to refer to the data collected in your system. And if you're a party center software customer, your customer success manager can show you how to pull this data from your software for analysis. For more great information, be sure to grab a copy of our 2020 online party booking study or better yet, the 2021 or 2022 online party booking study. How to set up your Facebook business page. If you don't have a Facebook business page just yet, your first step will be to create one. Keep in mind that you will need a personal Facebook account to create a Facebook business page. So if you don't currently use Facebook, you'll need to create a personal account for this purpose. Don't worry, the information from your personal account will not be publicly visible on your business page. To start, go to facebook.com forward slash pages forward slash create, and then select the type of page you want to create, business or brand. Name, list your business name exactly the same as the name on your front door or the sign out front. If your name is long, use an abbreviation, or just the first part of your name. The goal is to remain easily recognizable by your future and current guests. If you own multiple locations that are managed by different franchise owners or operators, you may want each facility to create a business page for their location, since each location likely has different addresses and or operating hours. This may be easier for your team to manage. As an alternative, grab a copy of the digital version of this audio, the Facebook ebook, to check out an article on how to use one Facebook business page to add and manage multiple locations. Additionally, Facebook will ask you to create a username that can be up to 50 characters long. Be sure that you match your username 
to your business name as closely as possible. Categories. For category, type in a keyword that describes your business best, such as amusement park or arcade, and Facebook will suggest some options. If your business falls into more than one category, choose the ones that your customers are most likely to think of when they think about your business. You can add up to three categories for your business page. Description. Your description is where you can share some information about your business. You have up to 255 characters, so think of it as your elevator pitch and be sure to make it short and sweet. You can add a longer description in the Our Story section after you create your page to elaborate more on how your business got started, what you offer, and why your customers should follow your page. After you finish adding your description, click Create Your Page. Pictures. Next, choose a profile photo and cover photo for your page. The key here is that both should showcase your branding clearly. For the profile image, consider using your logo. This image is what will pop up next to your facility's name in Facebook search results and what appears when you comment, chat, or interact with other users on Facebook. Thus, it should function as a way for your customers to easily identify your business. Pictures. Keep in mind that the profile image is cropped to a circle, so don't put any important elements in the corners of your image. If you're looking for more information about preferred image sizes, be sure to snag the ebook version of this audio and refer to page 13. Your cover image appears as a banner at the very top of your profile. Most businesses choose to upload a picture of visitors having fun at their facility. Others choose to change it frequently to announce specials or promos. Whatever you do, be sure it aligns with your branding. We recommend that you use Canva to design images for your social media platforms. And for more information about Canva, be sure to check out our resource on Instagram. You can grab a guide through the link on page 13 of this ebook. Contact and hours. Add your phone, email, address, website, and all other details customers might need to contact you. Don't forget to include your operating hours too. This information appears in your search results and should be updated frequently to account for any holidays. Navigate to the About tab on your page to add this information. Lastly, take a moment to create your first post. It should be a simple hello world or special announcement. If you have an active personal or professional Facebook, invite friends to like your page. You can do this by clicking the three dotted icon on the menu bar of your Facebook business page and navigating to invite friends. You may also want to hop on other social media platforms to share the link to your page to promote it or promote it via email. How to optimize your Facebook business page. Build it and they will come. Does not apply to digital marketing. To compete online, each business must actively work to optimize its performance by producing great content and interacting with customers on a consistent basis. In this section, we'll share a few great ways you can optimize your page and presence on Facebook. Calls to action. Facebook allows each business page to add a call to action button. This button lives at the top of your page next to your facility name and links to wherever you want the customer to go. Although it may be tempting to add a simple button that says learn more and links to your website, this isn't always an effective strategy. Learn more isn't enticing to click on since the customer learns most of it, everything they need to learn about your facility from your Facebook page alone. If they do click and get redirected to your website, they'll simply browse through and quickly click away since the only call to action for them was to visit your website. Instead, consider adding a button that says book now and links the customer directly to your online booking page. Calls to action. Visitors click on your page because they wanna know where and how to book a party at your facility. Making it easy will encourage more customers to book a party immediately. To add a call to action, simply click on add a button. Select the option you want, add your link, click next, and finish for it to go live. Pin a post. If you have a special going on, make a post about it and pin it to the top of your page. Simply navigate to the three dotted icon next to your post and click pin to top of page. This way customers will see exactly what you have going on at your facility and will be encouraged to book a party or schedule a visit. 
You can always unpin a post by clicking on the blue thumbtack next to it. Optimize your tabs. On your page, you'll notice that you have different tabs right below your cover image. You can click on more and edit tabs to customize the order of your tabs or add new ones. Facebook also offers different templates for different businesses. For example, if you choose the restaurant template, Facebook will generate tabs like menu items or offerings that you can then fill out. This will help your customers discover more about your facility and quickly access the information they're already looking for. Check your insights. Schedule time to look through your Facebook insights frequently. Insights will help you understand how customers interact with your Facebook page. You'll have access to data on demographics, post performance, how many people clicked your call to action or visited your website, and so much more. Simply navigate to the insights tab on the left-hand sidebar that functions as your page manager. Build backlinks. Be sure to add links to your Facebook page throughout your website and ask that other businesses, perhaps in your local area or influencers that visit your facility do so as well. Over time, this will improve your page credibility and your Facebook business page will start to rank higher on Google. Chapter two, navigating Facebook business suite. Facebook Business Suite allows you to manage and streamline activities on both your Facebook and Instagram accounts for free. You can check insights and engagement, communicate with your followers, nurture leads, schedule posts, and so much more. Facebook Business Suite is the newer, more cohesive version of Facebook Business Manager. Although every business page still has access to Facebook Business Manager, the Business Suite offers the same features as Business Manager, alongside other capabilities that help business owners optimize their social media activities across both Facebook and Instagram. Essentially, Facebook Business Suite will help you hit two birds with one stone. To start working with Facebook Business Suite, be sure to connect your Facebook and Instagram accounts. First, make sure your Instagram is converted into a business account if it's not already. Then log into your Facebook business page and navigate to settings. There, you will be prompted to connect your Instagram account. The following section is an overview of all Business Suite features and capabilities. To access your suite, go to business.facebook.com. You can also download the Facebook Business Suite app to your phone. Home. Your homepage dashboard allows you to check insights, create and schedule a post, look through your messages, and look at any ad activity. Activity. The activity tab allows you to check all of your recent notifications, such as comments, mentions, or likes on both Facebook and Instagram. Unified inbox. Your unified inbox includes all messages received via your Facebook, Facebook Messenger, and Instagram. You also have access to view all recent comments. Consider setting up automated responses to nurture followers and connect with customers. This way you can greet customers, share information about your page, communicate about bookings or appointments, and more. Simply click on the automated response tab in the left-hand sidebar. Choose your response type and fill out the details. Posts and stories. In this section, you can schedule multiple posts in advance for both Facebook and Instagram. You also have access to a content calendar that allows you to manage your posting schedule easily. Ads. The ad section will redirect you to your ad manager. This platform allows you to design ads, boost posts, and check out ad metrics. Insights. Your insights tab will allow you to check out trends, content performance, and audience demographics. More tools. In the desktop version of your business suite, you can access more tools to view and play with other Facebook products like events manager, ads reporting, business settings, and more. A note on Facebook Creator Studio. Facebook Creator Studio is a separate product from your Facebook business suite. Creator Studio allows you to create and manage content for stories, videos, and other posts. It offers a more detailed view of your video analytics. Creator Studio also provides access to monetization and brand collaboration. Chapter three, posting on Facebook. Now that you've published your Facebook business page and learned more about managing the business suite, it's time to shift gears and talk about content. 
keep in mind that algorithms change and so do the best practices. So keep a pulse on those changes and updates by tuning into marketing blogs like HubSpot, Duct Tape Marketing, Social Media Examiner, and Neil Patel. I also recommend that you tune into Instagram and Facebook news specifically as changes are continuously being made to these platforms. What to post on your Facebook page. The pictures and videos that you share on social media are all opportunities to tell a story about your facility. If you've already been posting on Facebook, take a scroll down memory lane. What story does your page tell? Although it might seem like there's not much of a difference between Facebook and Instagram, except for image size, both are visual, both allow for lengthier captions. Facebook is a multifaceted platform. You can post photos, videos, and text on its own. So it's important to create an arsenal of content options to use on your page. Additionally, each platform's user demographics are different. According to courts, senior citizens in the U.S. are the fastest growing group of Facebook users. On the other hand, Instagram is more popular among younger users. Keep this in mind as you develop content and decide on ad spend for each platform. Facebook, for example, is a prime place to place ads because of its older user base, which has more money to spend. Instagram, similar to TikTok, is the place for video challenges and building relationships with influencers who motivate spending. Create a list of post types and topics. After you've gathered more information about your posting history or you're just getting started, be sure to create a list of potential content you can post to reach your audience. This will help you decide what to post and when to post it. The following list is a mix of potential images, videos, and written content you can post to your page. For more information on how to create or source beautiful images for Facebook and Instagram, check out our Instagram resource linked on page 34 of this ebook. Number one, post and topic ideas for family entertainment centers. The first topic is birthday parties. The birthday party room, kids having fun at a birthday party, adults having fun at a birthday party, food and drink options, attractions, specials and promos, descriptions of birthday party packages, holiday greetings, New Year's, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, Easter, Independence Day, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Hanukkah, Christmas. Attraction focused. Trampoline. Someone jumping. Someone doing tricks. People having fun, games being played, close-up shots of the trampoline, fun facts about trampolines, fun facts about your facility, why your company loves trampoline so much, slow motion jump, sped up jump, different age groups jumping or playing games, trampoline birthday party. Attraction-focused bowling. A person bowling, a group having fun at the lane, close-up shot of the lane or bowling balls, or both. People having fun while eating, shot of a scorecard, a highlight of anyone who bowls over 200 points, fun facts about bowling, why your team is passionate about bowling, history of your facility, customer highlights, kids bowling, adults bowling, a league bowling, attraction-focused arcade, a person playing a game, people playing games together like ski ball close-up of each arcade game, this can give you tons of posts. People having fun in the arcade area, a shot of a win, a video of a dancing game or a guitar or a music game, each team member's favorite game. This will give you quite a few posts too, while also featuring your staff. Food, beverage, and menu. Food, individually and artistically staged photos of each of your food menu items. Kids enjoying your food, adults enjoying your food, specialties on your menu, cupcakes, cakes, and desserts if applicable food on a party table or included in a party package. Beverages, staged photos of beverages you offer, non-alcoholic, alcoholic, coffee, tea, lattes, etc. People enjoying your drinks, fun facts about your drink offerings. Do you have any silly names? Picture of your mascot enjoying a drink, if applicable. Menu, photos of your menu, photos of specialty menu items. Use your Facebook content calendar. As mentioned in the previous chapter, you can use your Facebook Business Suite's content calendar to plan and schedule posts for both Facebook and Instagram. You can also use Facebook Creator Studio to upload and schedule videos. 
When planning, start with the easiest posts first, such as any days that are holidays, special events, birthdays, or anniversaries you'd like to announce. For example, during the summer, you can design and schedule promotional posts for holiday events like Memorial Day or 4th of July, summer camp tickets, long weekend specials, and holiday hours. Next, be sure to add your birthday party promotions. You might choose to have every sixth post be a birthday party promotion or mix it up and go with every fourth and then sixth. The frequency is up to you. Just remain consistent. When to post on Facebook. Choosing the right time and posting frequently is critical. Most social media platforms suggest posting a minimum of once per day with anywhere from one to three posts per day preferred. For more on this, jump to page 39 of this ebook to find data compiled by Sprout Social on Facebook posting time recommendations. Whether you post once per day or three times daily, one of the most important things you can do is be consistent. Start by planning just one post per day for the next 90 days. When you get to 30 days in, start planning for your next batch of posts and aim for two posts per day. Repeat this process of two posts per day for 90 days, then begin to plan for three posts per day. Track and monitor each phase using Facebook Business Suites Insights tab. Chapter four, how to create engagement on Facebook. Social media is about relationship building. It might seem formulaic at first, but building relationships with visitors is what will help you convert them into customers. And to build relationships, you must create engagement. How to create Facebook engagement. Step one, build a process. Building a process is critical. A process will allow you to stay on track and reach your marketing goals. And speaking of goals, before you start building your process, set a goal for yourself or the team member responsible for building relationships on Facebook. Goal examples might include number of customers to follow each day or week, number of other small businesses to follow each day or week, number of groups to join each week, number of likes to make each day or week, number of comments to make each day or week, number of follows received, number of likes received. As you get into a routine, it'll become easier and easier. Keep a close eye on your insights daily to take note of what's working and what's not. Who to follow and where to follow them. Discovery strategies. You might be wondering who to follow and how you'll find them. Fortunately, you have some great places to start already. Your customer database. The first place to look is in your customer database. A simple customer export into Excel will give your marketing lead everything they need to start searching. If applicable or required, include language on how your customer's data will be used in your digital waivers so you don't run into any issues later. Connect with potential customers by joining community groups on Facebook. Become a helpful resource and thoughtful leader in these groups, not just another vendor. Over time, group members will trust you and want to come to your facility. For example, if you're an FEC, join a local mom group or homeschool group on Facebook. Group members might want more information on where to host their next homeschool gathering. How to create Facebook engagement. Step two, growing engagement. After you put your process in place, it's time to get to work on growing engagement. Friend, follow, like, comment, and share. Following accounts, liking posts, commenting, and sharing posts are all going to be part of your growth strategy. A note on following versus friending. As a business page, you can't friend, but only follow other public-facing accounts. However, you may want to create a personal slash professional Facebook account to friend potential customers or leads, engage with their posts, and invite them to like your page. Who to follow? There are many strategies to find followers. Here are a few ideas. Follow anyone that follows you within reason. Follow another business in your area. Navigate to their Facebook page, then click on the three dotted icon under the page's cover photo. Click like as your page. Follow mom bloggers, schools, camps, and homeschool moms, and groups with public facing accounts. When to like. Liking posts is an important part of active engagement on Facebook. If you choose to follow or like another page or public figure as your business page, you'll notice that Facebook will create a separate news feed for your business page 
based on who you liked or followed. You can access this news feed by navigating to the left-hand sidebar on your page, then click on news feed and be sure to like and comment under any recent posts. For users like customers and potential leads, this might be a little tricky as a business page, but be sure to connect with anyone who commented under one of your posts or tagged your facility in a photo or a post by commenting or liking their reply back. This will show that you're dedicated to them and care about their experience at your facility. Again, you may also want to create a personal slash professional Facebook account to connect with potential customers or leads. Add it into your process to spend some time on Facebook each day. Be sure to like, comment, and build relationships because over time, consistency will lead to more conversions. When to comment. Commenting on posts is arguably more critical than liking. It shows the page or user you're following, as well as the Facebook algorithm, that you're not just a bot account. You're actively engaging with the other user and enjoy their content. Be sure to comment frequently. When to share. Sharing posts is another opportunity to build quality engagement. You should automatically share any posts or stories that were taken inside or in front of your facility. You might also consider sharing inspirational content, food-related content, traction-related content, or something else that your audience might find appealing. Just be sure it fits with your messaging and brand. Incentivize your customers to tag you. Be sure to promote your Facebook page throughout your facility. Stick signage with your Facebook username on your front door, all over your facility, even in the bathroom. You might even consider giving a small sticker with your Facebook handle or a QR code on it that leads to your Facebook page just to make sure your guests really get it. And nothing motivates your customers more like a good incentive. Consider hosting social media giveaways or contests to boost engagement. For example, if you're a bowling alley, you might consider hosting a contest where guests are challenged to make a strike on video. This is a good way to get customers to engage with your Facebook profile, tag you, and give you the opportunity to engage in return. Managing your unified inbox. Your inbox is a huge opportunity to create a positive experience for your guests. Potential guests might reach out to you with questions or they might have suggestions. Whatever the messages are, monitor them, delete any spam, and create a process for how to handle requests made via Facebook and Instagram with your team. Post more videos or broadcast live. Pictures are great, but videos are even better in terms of boosting engagement on Facebook. And to add to that, live videos see even more engagement than regular videos. Consider adding a mix of all visual mediums to your content plan. You may post videos of your facility or go live to answer any customer questions. Are you a video making novice or never touched a camera in your life? Well, I have good news for you we have a video called how to shoot a video of your FEC using your phone. Jump to page 49 of this guide for a link to this video or visit our YouTube page to find this video. Look at your insights. If you find that you've hit a wall, take a look at your insights. Who are your customers? What are your top performing posts and why do you think they're great? Are you addressing your customers' needs and wants? Facebook Insights will help you identify what specific areas you should work on to boost engagement. A note on buying likes and followers. Considering purchasing likes and followers? I understand the temptation. And while it seems intriguing, purchasing likes and followers might show an initial boost in engagement, but it is likely not the type of engagement that you're looking for. The likes and followers that you'll receive from sites like these are from folks all over the world and potentially even bots. If you're a single location, facility, or have a small footprint, these followers will likely not turn into visitors for your business. Save what you'd spend on purchasing followers and use it to create ads for a custom audience instead. Get creative. There is so much incredible content out there on how to create engagement on Facebook. Follow pages that perform well for inspiration. Check out what your competitors are doing you might just get a few great ideas. Follow the best practices that others have already tried and be creative in your approach. Talk to your staff, your kids, your neighbors about Facebook and the best ways to engage. Boost posts and set up ads. 
running ads and boosting posts is one way you can also increase engagement. Navigate back to your Facebook business suite. Look at your left-hand sidebar and scroll down to ads. If you click on this tab, you can quickly boost an already well-performing post to get more traction or set up an ad. To set up your ad, you must first choose the right objective or goal that you'd like to hit. Ask yourself what you want the outcome to be. Is it more likes, more website visits? The key here is to choose one clear outcome. Next, set a demographic, like age, location, behaviors, and all the other details. Then choose where you'd like to run your campaign. Facebook Business Suite allows you to choose Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, Audience Network, or all. Lastly, you'll want to enter your budget and the period of time you'd like your ad to run. You can also choose an ad format for video, single image, or multi-image. Once you submit your ad, it'll go to auction and get pushed to the right demographic. You can then track the ad's performance or edit the campaign to make adjustments in Ads Manager. But before you create an ad campaign, we recommend you first install Facebook Pixel. What is Facebook Pixel? In short, the Pixel is a piece of code you can add to the back end of your website. It tracks website traffic or visitor behavior on your website, which will help you create better performing ads on Facebook. According to the Social Media Examiner, the code is made up of two main parts, the Pixel base code and event code. The Pixel base code tracks all of the traffic to your site. Event codes are additional pieces of code you can add under the default Pixel code two specific pages of your website that allow you to track certain actions on those pages. There are different types of event codes you can add to your website. For example, you can track the number of times a visitor has viewed your website content or if they've added anything to their cart. Party Center software customers also add their pixel to their online booking page to track all activity there. To install Facebook Pixel to your online booking page, please contact your customer success manager. How do I install Facebook Pixel? Here are the steps. Number one, go to business.facebook.com, navigate to more tools and click on events manager. Number two, click create a pixel, add a name and click next. Number three, install the Facebook Pixel base code. Choose an option for installing your pixel code. You can use a Tag Manager plugin to install the Pixel if you're using a third-party website, or you can copy and paste the Pixel code manually. If you don't feel comfortable setting up the Pixel yourself and are a Party Center software customer, please contact your Customer Success Manager. Number four, if you choose to copy and paste the code, you'll get redirected to the Install Pixel Base Code page. Copy the code to your clipboard. Now you can paste it on the back end of your website. If you're not sure how to do that, contact your web hosting service for instructions. Number five, click next to get another snippet of code to install on specific web pages, such as your online booking page to track visitor behavior. Follow the same steps as above. Click in the code box to copy the code to your clipboard. Then add this code to your website. Number six, go to your ads manager and select pixels to check whether your pixel is active. It may take up to 20 minutes for the status to be updated. After your pixel is activated, you can access your ads manager to look at any data collected by your pixel. Be sure to set clear goals for your campaign and pivot where necessary. Remember, collecting data is only one half of the equation. Develop an action plan on what you'll do with that data once it's acquired. Conclusion. Our goal is to provide FEC and event owners, operators, and staff with the tools they need to grow revenue. In this resource, we covered how you can do that through Facebook, the world's most dynamic and powerful social media platform. From best practices for setting up your Facebook business page to tips on what to post, when to post, and how to engage We've covered all the bases to get you started. I'd like to encourage you to take what you've learned here and apply it. It might seem overwhelming, but if you follow the best practices in this guide, you will certainly improve your Facebook engagement, grow and convert more leads into loyal customers. 
I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you have any feedback or have any topics you'd like us to discuss, be sure to email marketing at partycentersoftware.com. This podcast is a weekly podcast, so you can expect new episodes every Thursday. Party Center Speaks is powered by Party Center Software. We are a facility management tool that helps family entertainment centers and event venues book more parties and manage their facilities. We also offer marketing services, such as custom website design and marketing automations to help you expand your reach and grow traffic. If you'd like to learn more about us, head over to partycentersoftware.com. And of course, be sure to give us a follow at Party Center Software on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and at Party Center SOFT on Twitter. Until next time, thanks for listening.